This video shows how we can cook, heat, and refrigerate food with just solar panels. No lithium or batteries needed. Storage can be the most expensive part of a system, and without it, we can transition to reliable energy at home easier and more affordable today. In fact, we already have the total solar capacity needed, just 200 watts per person to live like this around the globe. Let's dive into things. Mostly it's just about planning your day so you're cooking earlier in the day. Most people want to cook later in the day. If you're willing to do that, you're probably going to be fine. The whole point is retained heat. The whole point is thermal storage. You know, it's, it's insulation. It's a slow heat. We'll make a big pot of beans or soup or something on the Roxy and just let it kind of go all day. If you're used to cooking with like crock pots a lot, you'll probably take to it pretty well. I mean, we think they're great. Of course, we use them every day. If you make that decision not to use propane or gas, they make all the difference in the world. These are, this is a converted um, blender. So if, you, if you're running it at a, around 100 volts, you can run appliances that are made for 120 AC as long as they're converted to be able to handle the, the um, like the arcing of the DC stop. If the motor can handle direct, then you can put a snubber across the switch and run in solar direct. This is an Excalibur dehydrator. We're dehydrating persimmons in there. So we're running this solar direct. You can see at the back here the modifications we made. We put a snubber across the thermostat, the same as the Roxy that um, I was showing you in the shop. We also took out, so a thermos, a dehydrator is just a fan and a heating element. And a heating element, you know, can run AC or DC the same. The fan, in this case, was an AC fan that we could not run solar direct, so we had to pull the fan out. We actually replaced it with an electronics cooling fan, which runs 12 volt DC. And we actually installed a voltage regulator to drop the voltage coming off of the panels to a voltage that this fan could handle. fridge. This is a specialty DC fridge, which is also running directly off its own solar panel. It's chest fridge, so it's got good insulation and it's got, you know, decent insulation of its own. These are expensive, but they last. They work really well. They will hold coldness almost for a day. We had, I mean, if we get a few days of rain in a row, it'll start to get warm, but it works pretty darn well. And we can actually run it as a freezer if we wanted to. It's just, it's one big thing, so we can't really have both. Though we do know people who've done it. If you put it at a higher setting and then put insulation in between, you can have a freezer on the bottom, fridge on the top, but we don't bother with that. So we built the collector over here where the sun is. And the whole bottom section is all thermal collectors and the top is PV. The bottom is the space heating and water heating for the house. This is um, some new plumbing that's connecting to the old um, fuel oil boiler from the house. So it used to be the heating system for the house was this boiler. And what we're doing is we're tying into the old plumbing. So you can see these old pipes are going to all the radiators around the house. And what we're doing is we're tying in solar heated fluid from here into that network of the plumbing that's going to every room that has a radiator in every room. So that's how we're distributing the solar heat through the building using the old uh, heating system. This is where the solar heat for the, the glycol that's going through those collectors I showed you out there is coming into the building. This is the heat exchange where we're bringing in um, glycol and then it's exchanging the heat into, we're actually running water through the, through the system, the radiator system of the house. So, there's two separate um, glycol loops here in the um, in this basement. So this this is the one for the heating system, and that's the one for the hot water. A retrofit for the basement. <laughs> Not going on that.